Have you ever been hiking with llamas? What about camping with llamas? Well, there's a farm in Greenville where you can do that and so much more. It's called the Wandering Llamas Farm, and we went to check it out for this morning's On the Move. On the road again. He's been singing that for the full hour. You know why? Because we're back. Morning's on the move. Casey Wheelis, where are we headed? We're headed to Wandering Llamas in Greenville, Tennessee. It's a llama farm. Yeah, we got no problemas here. I'm very excited. I am too, and I'm driving this time because, no offense here, you drive like a sloth, and since we are a little further out, I wanted to get there on time. I got the directions, making sure we are headed to where we need to go, to go to Greenville to check this out. It's supposed to be some beautiful scenery. Yeah. The llamas, you can't beat that. I think llamas are pretty unique. They are really smart, they're easy to train, um, and they're very curious. How, how did your llama obsession start? Well, I actually took a, a llama hike, which is what I do now. I took the llama hike in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, and I wasn't even into it like 30 minutes, and I had fallen completely in love with the llamas. I'm gonna take this one home. So I bought one, and he was just like a pet on somebody's farm, and then it melded into three llamas, and then into five, and then into 10, and then into 15, and now I've got 20. <laughs> llama, 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 llama. Llama, 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 llama. What can people expect when they come out here? Oh, well, the farm is beautiful. It's very quiet, very cozy. Um, you have all the llamas at your beck and call. You can play with them, run with them, photograph with them, feed them. Um, I have the beautiful tree house where you can spend the night in the tree house. Um, and then you could just wake up and they're little, literally at your feet. Um, they hum at night, so at night you can, you know, they'll hum you to sleep. What you thinking? Mm. Why? Mm. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, I know. The kids, they go crazy. They're, they literally just run and play and chase the llamas and hug them and kiss them. And, you know, the parents want to go and they're hugging their llama and they don't want to go and they start crying. <laughs> and they just want to stay here all day, and I don't blame them. I don't blame them. That's okay. All right, so we did not get to bring any of the llamas back to the station, but they were so cute and fun. Yeah, we didn't get to. Okay. That was uh, so much fun. They were so cute. They get hungry. I was young, when I said the llama, llama, llama. One of them started jumping up. He yes, was, he I wanted to get after it. Yes, he did, and I thought we were going to have a little situation <laughs> on our hands, but they're so they're so sweet. They're very sweet animals, and a lot of people ask if they spit, and she has actually trained them not to spit around people. So not all llamas do that, but her llamas do. She says she has not met a llama she cannot train. And I loved to, where were some of those llamas from? They were retired from, what's it the called? The Lacant Lodge. Lacant yep. Lodge llamas. Mm -hmm. So they had a whole life of, of yeah. carrying that, those bags and everything up there, and she said it doesn't bother them. They've, yeah. got, they've got the good footing, so they're good to go. We've got details on our WVLT News app if you're interested, and we do want to get...